Hello, Matrix, and welcome again. Today we are doing question two of our paper two 2018. And it's another statistics question, and we are looking at correlation. So we've got uh, the average serve speed of a tennis player and the height of a tennis player. And they looked at the heights of 21 players and the average speeds of the serves that were recorded. So these were amongst professional tennis players and we have a least squares uh, regression line. So we don't need to do uh, any calculator work in this question because the R's are given. Um, and normally what they would do is they would give you two data sets, so X and Y. Um, in this case, the, they would represent points on the scatter plot. So I just want to show you quickly if they did what you would do with your calculator. So you would say mode. And again, we are doing stats. So we'd say the stats mode. And because it's two variables, we would use our regression line. So this number two, A plus B X, where A is the X intercept, Y intercept and B is your gradient. So we would say two, and then you'd put in your, your data points. So your X here. So if we were doing heights, because that's on the X, it would be sort of 1.85, 1 1.9, et cetera, et cetera. These are just dummy examples. Um, not the actual examples in this question, but we would, we would have our data and then we would put in our Y values. Um, and that, so that could be, uh, say, 200 and 180. As I said, these are not the actual values. Um, just showing you three values because if it was two values, you'd get a regression uh, of one. Um, so once you've got that, you say AC clear, the data is in the thing, in the calculator, and then you can say shift, stats, and you're looking for the regression statistics, your R values, right? And then you would put in the number of three if you wanted your R. And so you'd say R equals and it's 0 0.95. Okay, this is not the actual example. Um, as I said, you've already got your R values, but often uh, this is unusual. Usually you do have to calculate it, calculate it on your calculator. Same thing here on the other calculator, which most of you have, the FA2 Casio, you'd say stats, two variables, and again, put in your data. And over here, you put in, put some random values here. If they had a frequency table, you would also put that in there. Say this is, and then we would say clear, shift, stats, and then we go to seven, which is our regression statistics. So that's how you use your calculator, but we don't need that here. So let's look at this question. Now, they want the fastest average serve speed achieved in the tournament. Okay, so a nice, simple question to begin with. We look for the fastest average speed, question 2.1, and that is 251 kilometers per hour, because that's the fastest. Okay, M per hour. 2. Point, that was 2.2. Uh, that was 2.1. And then 2.2.1 says, which one of the given correlation be, uh, coefficients best fits the plotted data? Well, we can see it's fairly scattered and it is sloping upwards. So then we know that it's going to be, it's not going to be 0, 0.93. That's too accurate. Uh, negative it's not because that would slope down and so we know that it's r equals 0 0.52 and then use the scatter plot to okay so i've already said why i think so so we would say uh, fairly scattered um 
that's sloping upwards. Okay, 2.3, what data, um, what does this, what does the data suggest about the speed of a tennis serve and the height of a player? Okay, so because R052, R it means a weak correlation. Remember, because 0, 0,9 is a strong correlation, but 0 0.52 is a weak correlation. So, weak correlation. So, therefore, we say no significant evidence. evidence to suggest speed uh, of serve related to height of player. Okay, and then 2.4 says the equation of the regression line is y equals 27.07 plus bx. Explain why in this context, the regression line cannot intersect the x-axis. Well, let's look at what that means. So that means that if we were to go down to the, uh, sorry, the y-axis, of course, because um, 27, 0.07 is the y-axis. So if we were to extend this downwards, that would mean the height of a player at the y-axis would be, the intersect would be at x equals zero. Well, we know that in reality, that's impossible because how could a player be zero meters in height? So we would just say it's impossible because human cannot be zero meters in height. Okay, so that's question two, done. Uh, if it helped, please like and subscribe and you will get notifications and I will keep posting videos and explanations to all of these metric questions to help you get a great result. So yeah, like, subscribe, share on social media, whatever you'd like to do to help out. And uh, I will keep helping you out.